Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，Hello，
and I was on file because you know as a as a performer you know you always randomly go to these auditions and, and you, you're you're kept on file and they said we have a role that could fit you and it's only for eight months so I said you know why not only for eight, <laughs> eight months, months. Okay. only for eight months it's already 13 years guys okay. um, yeah so are you a permanent resident in Hong Kong yes yes, yes okay. and I love it here but like I, I've I've built a whole life here. So I met my husband Disney. here. I met so because of Disney. Yeah. You you moved over to Hong Kong. Yep, for eight months. And so what 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 were you doing in Disney? What role? Okay, the were, first were role. Can, can you tell? Yeah, You're another Mickey Mouse, right? <laughs> yeah. um, She's uh, definitely part of the magic. Yeah, I know, I, I, but I, I, which part I, of that magic? Um, they flew me in because they. My kids are watching. They, oh really? I ah, keep the magic. how old are your children? Seven and five. Oh. Seven well, they they weren't born yet uh, when when Disney had Hong Kong Disneyland had High School Musical so you can imagine I was this 23 year old pretending you know I had like this high, <laughs> high ponytail and I was like yeah we're gonna pop 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 to the top uh, teeny bopper um, and then um, at the same time I was doing um, uh, I was singing you know um, when Tarzan comes out there's a song oh the power to be strong oh. I used to do that and then eventually, I really, really, um, I really, really dreamed of doing the role of Bibi. Bibi, Bibi is in uh, Golden Mickey. Yeah, mm. the one who plays the reporter. Oh, I the see. One who, the one who says hello, daga ho. Um, like hi, hi, Mike, come join me, okay. Yeah, hello, it's not playing yeah. anymore. The, the, yeah, yeah, not, not anymore, show, not anymore. Yeah. They changed it, but um, the one that goes, oh hi, Bibi, lido tsao hai goi sai, timen kai gu si kai Okay. <laughs> that one. So oh, yeah, with I, a kid's I, accent, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I really, I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed um, my years in Disney. I did three years, no, three contracts, oh. three contracts with Disney. So now here is a challenge: a Disney song. Do you know all the songs, or a lot actually? Because every time I sing for for the weddings, I only sing that those songs. What about this one? Okay. Okay. Let me. You don't re- sing this song in a wedding, but not in a wedding. But here we go. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? Look at this trove, treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around here, you think, sure, she's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want a thing in my box? I've got plenty. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing, walking around on the what do you call it? Oh, feet. feet. <laughs> Flipping your fins, you don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling along down the... What's that word again? Street. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun. Wandering free, wish I could Young women, sick of swimming, ready to stand and ready to know what the people know. Asking my questions and get some answers. What's a fire and why does it? What's the word? Bird. When's it my turn? Wouldn't I love, love to explore?
。試咗啦，一個簡單嘅測試，真係。Is it real? She's coming from Disney. Yeah, coming from Disney. Yeah, and we didn't rehearse. We just just pick any of the song, one of my daughter's favorite. Oh really? Yeah. Like a whole generation, I think, now <laughs> yeah. really likes these songs. Especially it's great that there is a revival. But then that's a big change. Now from Disney mm -hmm. being Ariel, being and your favorite character, the magic. But then there's another magic that came to your life mm -hmm. you, from moving from ma uh, from Disney all the way to this movie called Is It Human Again? Not <laughs> yet. Still human. It's still human. A uh, human again. Uh, still human. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Chamdol, Chamdol, the Nokian. This movie, I watch it on the plane actually. Uh -huh. um, this is the very last movie that I actually watch on the plane. My last plane ride. <laughs> I cried me. like a baby. I was crying, crying. Oh, so touching. And my two daughters were next to me sleeping, uh -huh. like Tetris. I put them, yeah, I arranged them <laughs> that way. And I was just lying with my daughters without my wife. But mm -hmm. that movie touched me completely. What? How? How did it start? Uh, with, mm. with that movie. Actually, um, I, I had not done film prior. I, I, I was used to doing stage, and, um, and I actually had my apprehensions. Um, the long story is that um, there was a Facebook post. Yeah, and um, yeah, and, and I was like, <laughs> and then people kept sending it to me, and I was like, oh no, 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 I don't think I can, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> and I, then you, and you, you think, right? Um, after how many years of not performing, not performing really like as a full-time job, I would think like, oh, why am I gonna try to do something different? I'm already busy somewhere else. And, um, and you know, it's like, why, honestly, like I, I even laughed. I said, why would I try something new and maybe make a fool of myself mm -hmm. at like at 30, 30 something? What were you busying at that time though? I, I have my own um, creative arts learning center. Okay. So, so, so it's that, a, yeah. yeah. So I, as an entrepreneur, I've been, I've been really full on for the past um, mm. for the past five and a half years. Mm. It's a lot of co it's a big commitment and it's a lot of work, and taking some time off is is a challenge. I mean, um, you really have to make sure that the time you take away from your work brings value somewhere else in your life, right? And um, and I remember saying like, oh, I don't think it's something that I would pursue personally mm -hmm. um, it, it, it wasn't part of the plan but you know people kept sending me the the, yeah, the post and I said you know what, why not I'll go there and actually it was Spain. more out of curiosity yeah mm -hmm. because um uh, the story of migrant workers is very very close to my heart um, mm -hmm. you can imagine me from university up until my masters I wanted to do development work and I wanted to I wanted to support the community and um, and coming to Hong Kong, I did have that unique opportunity to get to know these women um, on a very, very personal um, mm. level. I, I used to, and I still do, I do a lot of volunteer work, but particularly during that time with, um, with an organization called Enrich. Oh. They're still very active now, and they're really, really a, a good um, institution, a, a good organization, a, a nonprofit that helps migrant workers um, take hold of their um, financial planning, mm -hmm. giving them also empowerment workshops, helping them plan for the long term. And I came in during that time when I was in Disney, I was volunteering my weekends to, um, to support um, activities of the community. Mm -hmm. And it was a very humbling experience for me because I realized that whatever I had studied um, in, in university or you know growing up, whatever I had thought about these women, I could, you know, I, I was there in many ways. I was still so, um, so wrong. Mm. Like um, these women were very empowered. They're, these women were intelligent. Were very capable. Were very strong. Um, sometimes, um, most of the time, they didn't get the, the opportunities commensurate mm -hmm. to their talent. And um, and and I thought, but still, I, I really admired. I really admired what they what they did and what they continue to do. So. Their story is very, very special to me, and um, and I remember coming to the Not audition. Not special to you, especially very special to everybody. Yes, I think so. Yeah, I think here I th so I th all of us. I'm glad you know. In the in the 13 years that I've been in Hong Kong, I think a lot of the social um, social awareness mm -hmm. has evolved. 
you know. Finally, yeah, a little fight. bit, getting, yeah, getting, <laughs> a, little, getting a little bit advanced. Yeah, yeah. It, it took a while, and yeah, it's, it, in, in it some did. areas, it's still slow and backward, mm. as I'll probably share with you later on with my own experiences. But um, I think on the whole, I think um, the narrative has changed. And I think when director Oliver Chan Siu Kun came up with this, um, with this project, it really came from a good place, and she did her research. She knows a lot of the stories of these women, much more than some Filipinos do, right? And, and I remember coming to the um, audition, and we ended up just chatting, and I thought to myself, you know, I think, I think she's onto something good, and, um, and she has a good motivation for it. Even if she doesn't pick me as the actress, I want to help. I want to help lend my voice into the, the process and see how I can support. And, uh, but she picked me, <laughs> and I said, are you sure? Really? I'm like, uh, I don't know how to do this. You went through a lot of auditions <laughs> and casting, right? Mm -hmm. I, 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 yeah. And, um, but yeah, but, and, um, yeah, she said, oh, you know, and I said, but I, I don't really feel like doing And you don't speak Chinese new. at all? Uh, Sushi or very little, um, just the, the tang, introduction tang from Disney. Did you say that Tang Meng? Tang, uh, Gong, not say Gong, say Tang. Say Tang, say Tang, say Gong. Yeah, but yeah, but <laughs> how about now? Much better, right? Huh? Um, a little bit hoity. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, oh, oh, so you don't think it's up? But that's why it's a very brave decision. You don't it was, speak it was the scary language, because, I mean, and I, you're doing and, a movie. Uh, and also, <laughs> like, um, it's it's something like you know. Why would you venture out of your comfort zone? It's like, oh, you venture out of your comfort zone and you're like a teenager or you're in your early 20s. You don't really do that in your 30s, or at least that's what I thought. And, um, and I said, you know, I might make a fool of myself. But I said, no, I, have a, I, I want to do something good. And at that time, I was thinking, we didn't expect that. I didn't expect that it would, it would become big. I was thinking, you know what? If this film goes, let's say, to universities, to schools, and it becomes um, the object of dialogue, and it mm -hmm. becomes um, like um, it, if it will uh, um, spark some some dialogue and debate, I said I would love to be there to speak on behalf of women that I admire and appreciate, and because they have told me their stories, mm -hmm. so I feel like I've collected those stories for for more than a decade. And um, I, one of my push factors was thinking, okay, if I don't do this, right, um, and somebody else does it, would they really appreciate the story? Would it just be an acting job or would it be an advocacy? And I felt like, um, for me, the answer was clear. It's an advocacy. And I think as an actor, as a performer, as a singer, we all, as an artist, we, always, we need to choose projects that matter. Otherwise, we're just going to be. We're just um, entertaining. Yeah, we're just we're just um, and we're and we're doing it for vanity, mm. right? Oh, yeah. But you know what I mean. And 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 of course, um, you know, uh, there's a part of us that loves to perform. But after a while, you have to ask, um, what are you performing, and for what? What is what difference does it make, and does it add value to people's lives? And are you happy? Are you happy to be represented by the work that you do? Mm. So. I, that, I talk a lot. No, no, no. <laughs> you shouldn't ask me questions. It's, it's good. You probably did a lot of all those interviews before, but mm. uh, Frank, I can finally do this with you. <laughs> and also because I have invited my, um, my, I call her my sister. She's mm -hmm. part of my family. Her name is oh, Jocelyn. Yeah. And I asked her to send this YouTube link uh -huh. to all your friends. Oh, yes, please Just, do. Yeah, send it on. And then, <laughs> so, so that you know that, because you have... That's a lot of courage, actually, mm -hmm. just to take up that job, uh, that project. And now I realize that actually there was so much thinking beforehand. Yeah. Whether I should do it, what, what it is. Yeah, there was, at that time, I didn't, you know, I didn't think it would become... I, I, I didn't know. Of course, of, I'm sure the production, I, I'm sure... Um, it will be good. Director, yeah. Yeah, and, and director... But she's um, new too. Yukun, I'm sure that she, would, she was going to make a great job, and, I, and I'm sure that she was onto something good. Mm. But, you know, I didn't expect that. Um, that there would be so much attention on it and I think it, it helped spark some dialogue and, and I'm very happy about that. Uh,講緊呢就係Chriselle就係論落人裏面嗰套電影裏面呢,即係演譯呢一個誒,就係同阿黃秋生嘅呢一套電影,啱啱就講緊話原來係家即係係想接決定接拍呢個電影,原來個
how did it change anything? For, first of all, your perspective, your values, or what do you think of it? Bef you just share with us beforehand, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, the feelings before. What about after? Nothing much changed, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I think just a, a few more Instagram followers. <laughs> <laughs> really? Which, which I don't curate. You... If you look at my Instagram, I've only <laughs> recently tried to make it look decent. But did you get <laughs> more, more engagement from um, movie directors or producers? Mm. Actually that's, an inviting interesting, you to... that's an interesting question, actually. I think um, that was the thing that probably I struggled with. Um, you, put, it, put yourself in my shoes. For the past um, at least six to eight years, I've been in a very, um, very tight community of a very um, international, internationally minded people. And, um, and I think I was shielded a bit from the harsh reality that prejudice mm -hmm. and racial stereotyping are still prevalent in, in Hong Kong. And this is a little anecdote, okay? Mm -hmm. My life as an educator and an entrepreneur and that community, I think in a way it's a bit distinct and um, it's, very <laughs> it's very separate from this, um, this new project, this new industry, this new world that I've dipped mm -hmm. in. Um, like the day after the, um, after the awards, I remember uh, I was teaching, obviously after the awards, we, we were like up until 3 or 4 a.m. obviously. <laughs> of course you have, to, you have to celebrate, there's an after party. And I remember being in, the, in our center by 9 a.m. the next day because I had to teach a class for mm -hmm. children and I was so sleepy and tired. And I remember this parent came up and said, um, and, and at that time we, we had opened a new center. And she came up to me and said, oh my gosh, congratulations. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. You know, I'm smiling. And she's like, this is amazing. I said, yeah, it is. And she's like, it's amazing that you put this center up. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, she wasn't watching the awards. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> of course that too. <laughs> and, and so, um, yeah, a lot of people don't even, mm. a lot of people from this side don't know I do this. A lot of people from this side, this area don't know that I do the other. <clears throat> and so it's like, I feel like I have dual lives. But I think <clears throat> coming from this perspective where it's a very, very um, open, open-minded um, mm -hmm. and very um, international um, community, suddenly going back into a very mainstream mm -hmm. uh, area, suddenly I wasn't, I wasn't Kersel, the professional who spent years as an educator. I wasn't Kersel, the entrepreneur, mm -hmm. who spent a lot of years building up a credible brand. Mm, but Suddenly, the biggest bubble, <laughs> yes, celebrity. Yes, yes, no, no, no. It was <laughs> like, oh, that's the, um, that's the lady who played the helper. Mm. I wonder if she's a helper in real life. Which is not, which for me, like, I'm proud. I'm proud of, um, I'm proud of the women yeah, who work you. in the household mm -hmm. services industry. But then you can't also think that you know you see me on screen i'm an actor you know what i mean like mm. after after the after the screenings people would approach me and say how long have you been a helper and and for <laughs> me i don't mind i don't mind that people no, think no, yeah. i'm not i don't mind that people think that because it's an honorable profession mm -hmm. right but what bothers me is the fact that just because you um, you some people stereotype everybody in the same bubble mm. and and granting that you know maybe you have a household services worker you know maybe you have a migrant worker um, who is working as a helper but she was a teacher in the philippines mm. you know uh, or she was a nurse in the philippines mm. and 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 if if she's not a nurse or she or she wasn't a nurse she wasn't a teacher maybe if other opportunities had opened up for her she could be if this were another place Maybe she would have that mobility. Maybe she can retrain as a teacher. You know, I think that narrow-mindedness was was a little um, w w that narrow-mindedness bothered me. Mm. It's like you saw me in the in the movie. Why can't you think of a Filipina as anything else? Anything else. Yeah. yeah. And and I think the the repercussions of that is that when even when they just speak to me. There's a difference in the way they, in the way some people deal with you. 
you know, some people's perceptions will um, will kind of dictate and drive how they deal with you. You get what I mean? Yeah. I and I said this in a recent interview. I still get thing. I get I get comments Actually, like a kind of discrimination. Yeah, yeah. I, I get I get comments like, "Oh, you speak good English," <laughs> you know, uh, or and I'm like, Sh "Should I not?" Um, and, and and actually, it's better to say you speak not good English. What is good English? Anyway, um, and um, you know, and, and and the like, or people saying like, "Oh." You look so different from the film. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, in the film I was this divorced woman who was struggling and who went to a different country who who they made uh, they made me look more um tired Tardious, because of, you know, sad, I was depressed. You know, depressed. Yeah. Of course, if I if I go to if I go to a party, I'm not going to put on that kind of makeup uh, and and the like. I think um it's it um I think it's a very subtle subtle prejudice that people don't realize. Don't no. worry. Actually, yeah. in Hong Kong, a lot of people are doing different things. For example, I just uh -huh. set up this app. It's called mm -hmm. Voice Out. Okay. It's actually for people who got discriminated okay. in Hong Kong. Then just Voice Out here is an app mm -hmm. that you can actually type out uh, your, your case and we keep it private. Oh. And then we will find lawyers, 